the once studious Breck stopped doing homework or chores and it was increasingly difficult to get him offline. Lauren said that she would be telling Breck to get offline and he'd literally have Dane's voice in his earphones telling him not to listen. Lewis would begin to tell Breck that he was ill and dying and too weak to run his company. Not wanting his company to go under, Lewis told Breck that he wanted to hand the company over to him as long as Breck would come over to his flat and learn the job. Since Lewis was now aware that Breck's family were suspicious of him, Lewis had emailed Breck a set of instructions for how he could convince his father to let him get out for the night of their meeting, including lying about going to stay over at a friend's house for the night. On the night of February 16th, after convincing his father that he was headed to a friend's place, Breck took a 30 mile taxi from his home to meet Danes in person at his flat in Grays, Essex. This is the last point in time in which Breck Bedner was seen alive.